everybody! Today I am going to be finishing up this cute little bowl that I made with a glaze decorating technique called Estoriato, which means painted with stories. It's an Italian word and it's a really cool technique where you're mixing and blending under glazes with glazes on an already fired piece. So if you are ready, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is grab some white glaze because that is going to be kind of like the background color that mixes with underglazes. So I need to get two or three different underglaze colors and my white glaze and then I can get started. So here's what I'm using. It's an Amico white clover and it is a cone 05. Uh, glaze. So on the back it says let dry between coats glaze fire to cone 05 at medium speed. So this is perfect. This is going to be perfect for this technique. I've chosen um, two underglazes. These are them. A leaf green and a dragon red underglaze because my goal for this little bowl is for it to be a Christmas bowl. So I'm thinking a lot of red in here and then maybe just a little bit of green mixed in there and then the white clover is going to be mixed with those colors. So I'll talk about that as I I've chosen some brushes. I'm going to need some fine detail work. So I got this little teeny tiny little brush. I've got this one and then I've got this squared off brush that I'm going to use. Okay. You really don't need a lot of underglazes here guys. So just pour a little bit in there. I know I'm needing more red than anything. So I'm going to grab a little bit more red and then I'll go ahead and pour a little bit of green in there. So what I'm doing right now is painting a quick coat of white clover in the background here because Estoriato um, is the telltale sign of that is that it is a white background and then the colors are mixed and blends, blended on top of that white background. And so that is really the look that we're looking for. Okay, then I'm going to go in immediately with my red color because it is going to start mixing with this white background. So I'm just gonna start going in there and I know I want a lot of reds and I want these wispy um, kind of colors coming in from the background. You see what I'm doing? So now what I'm doing is just going to brighten up the edges of this bowl. I want the edges to be just a little bit darker and then I want it to kind of fade in to the white background and so I'm, I'll show you how I do this. Just kind of go around and I'm just creating another layer and then those wisps are just kind of going inward. So it's going to be bright red and it's going to slowly turn into white. This Estoriato technique is done with a glazing technique called Maiolica. Um, so Maiolica is taking your underglazes and mixing them with your glaze. And so what's happening is the underglazes are going to mix with that shininess of the glaze and then the underglazes will not be dull. So what I did in this section right there is I went back in, I added a little bit of clover, white clover, okay? And then I am blending and mixing this red with the white. See how it's kind of looking like a watercolor painting now and I've got some blending and I've got some value from dark to light going on right here. See how cool that is? So let me show you on this section right here, okay? I just took some white and I dabbed it on there real quickly like that. And then what I did is took some red and then I'm just gonna start mixing those colors and pulling it inward 
and then pulling it outward like this. I need a little bit more red. Pull inward and outward. And those colors go all the way to the edge, okay? Those colors are gonna mix and blend like a watercolor painting. So this technique is all really all about just kind of playing with the colors and doing a lot of mixing and blending. Um, I'm adding a little bit more red to the tips because I really want that red coming through and then I'm just gonna wisp it. So I'm taking and I'm pulling and wisping it towards the center. Um, the only way that this won't work is if you put too much underglaze because the underglaze will take over from the glossy glaze. So now what I'm doing is taking the white before this green dries and I'm taking that white and I'm just kind of wisping some white color in there. See what I'm doing? So let me grab a little bit more. This is white glaze, remember? I'm just going to wisp that, those colors together so that I get some variations of green, some really light greens and some dark greens. take just a little bit of red if I want to do you know to add those veins in there I could just add a little bit of red maybe a little bit of black not much but just so that you can kind of see and it looks a little bit more realistic doesn't it yeah. and I want to add some berries here so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in some large amounts of underglaze here and then let me just drop those in real quickly. I'll show you. Add some berries down here. I'm gonna do maybe two of them because I don't want them to dry completely. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the white. want to add another little holly right here just because I think it just needs a little bit more so I'm just gonna add another one and I noticed that some of my red is still in there but you know what that's okay if the red is still mixed in there because these colors are mixing anyway right and it's not gonna really take away from um, the green here I think it's gonna actually accentuate it and make it look a little bit more realistic So guys, I wanted to remind you that, you know, this, this technique is not easy. Um, remember, it's myolica, blending and mixing of the colors with the background, with the, the underglazes and the glazes. It's not easy. And if you have a strong painting background, you will succeed in this. If you are weak in painting, you might struggle, but that's okay. Go ahead and try it and see how you do. So I'm almost finished. Thank you for watching. Um, all I need to do is just finish up this green around the edge and then I may clear glaze the green because remember that's under glaze. I, I want it to be shiny. So I'm gonna clear glaze that green, clear glaze the bottom because that is all under glaze with Scorpio. 
and then go ahead and fire it and then I'll see what happens. I think it's going to be great. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.